today I show you how to go back on iPhone. On Android, usually you have the navigation buttons here, but on iPhone, you have to use gesture navigation. To go back, you have to do the swipe gesture like this from the left towards the right, like you pull, pull the, like a book, opening a book. To go forward, you do the opposite, you go like this. So this is how you go back and forward like this. But you can do this, the same thing, you can do it in most of the apps. Usually you will also have a back button here somewhere on the top. Different apps, they will have a different way that this looks like. And that might be a little bit confusing. So for example, here I went to, to this folder and here it's very clear that this is the back button. I go into this folder and I do the gesture, it's doing the same thing. Go there, I do the gesture, it's doing, it's doing the same thing. And the the back button, it's, uh, it's more, I believe it's easier to look at, to know exactly what you're doing, especially if you're not used to the gestures. But once you get used to the gesture navigation, it's much easier than, uh, than using the buttons. So this is much easier like that. You can do the same on websites. This is my website here, so I tap, that's an article on the website, and I go back the same way, like that. And I can tap here and go back. The same, this is in Firefox, the same, I can have the same in Chrome. For example, I tap on this post, and then go back to the home page. All these apps, they will work the same way. The notes app, you can use this folder here. You can use this button here or do the gesture. So if I make a new note, test, or just do, we could do a voice typing. I could just type something with my voice. Okay. Okay, so I press done. And if I want to go back, I can use this folder. Most of the time you will have something here. It might not look the same. Some of them in some apps, they look a bit different what is going to be in this area. So I open the note and I go back. I open the note, I use the gesture or I use the button. It's the same thing. It's really easy. Once you get used to the gestures, it's very easy, but you can always use this navigation on Chrome and on Chrome and Firefox. You could actually use the navigation arrows here to go back and forth, but it's really, I don't know. It's an option to go back and forth, but you can do the same with the gesture on the screen go back and forth like this the same as the arrows i hope this helps you navigate your iphone better and being able to go back is really important so you can go out of a folder or a website or an article thanks for watching